Welcome to this video. Haplogroups Q, C, and R. All humans and consequently also all modern humans that dominate the planet today descend from the Americas, the Amerinds and their haplogroups. Q, C, and R are proven Amerind Y-DNA haplogroups. In fact and according to science and its fundamentals all haplogroups are Amerind haplogroups. But let us simplify and only work with the by science already clearly proven Amerind haplogroups. Q, C, and R. Fictional. In order to simplify I hereby claim that the content of this video is fictional. I will work with and present one of the maps that are clearly consensus influenced and that are around and recognized and verified by consensus and science for many years. When we work with the macro haplogroups, as consensus did long before us, then all modern humans are represented by and descend from the proven Amerind haplogroups Q, C, and R. The roots of Q, C, and R are in the Americas, this means the Americas are where they and all their descendants come from. With Europe as an example, R dominates Europe today, but Q and C are also present and were dominant in Europe before R became dominant before 4,000 years ago. This example is also true for the rest of the world and possibly also and even for Africa. I now point to the participation of C in the populating of Africa and the rest of the world. I dare to say all, because haplogroups A and B are largely represented by pygmy-like people that live in very restricted areas in Africa, that offer no conditions for modern humans to live, let alone thrive and disperse, and above all that do not present the needed marker DNA found in modern humans. This to justify why I leave out why DNA A and B to simplify and to avoid distraction. Starting with only Q and C. Blue and yellow or Q and C cover all the world except Africa and Europe. Africa represents 20%, and Europe represents 6.7%, so roughly only a quarter of the planet is not covered by Q and C. R is also clearly Amerind and American and covers Western Eurasia that includes Europe and parts of Africa. That makes that less than 20% or one-fifth is not clearly and directly covered or populated by Amerind DNA. Intermezzo. Later I will argue and prove that also E is Native American or Amerind. In this case the Amerinds populated 100% of the world with modern humans. E is largely derived from C and the cradles and areas it populated. Fundamentals, Austronesian and ancient DNA will play a role in this proving. End of intermezzo. This video is a soft proof that the Amerinds, the Americas and the Amerind blood group O, which are all kind of the same thing because they are strongly associated, populated the world and are the ancestors of all humans today and throughout human evolution. This video is a very easy to understand and graphical presentation of the population of the world with modern humans. The hard proof of this are the fundamentals of science and thus science. These hard proofs are subject of other videos of mine, JM, and as said these are neglected by consensus. Thank you for watching.